hey y'all, grown black folks are back out on the climb again. And um, a more serious subject. I mentioned to you that I have been away putting together solutions for different problems that we are experiencing as black women and specifically dealing with how we use the crypto bull run to our advantage. And I'm also getting ready for a keynote presentation for the Faith Business Success Virtual Summit. And I'll leave a link to that in the description for those of you who want your free ticket. But in the meantime, in between time, speaking of solutions, we need to talk about Sade Robinson. Rest in peace to the young sister. Killed on a first date. And uh, the person who brought this to my attention was an information man show. And the reason I'm talking about this is that his conclusion uh, is not the correct conclusion. Even though he did a good job on offering safety tips from a man's perspective. And he did a good job on the details. But the reason his conclusion was incorrect is because of knee-jerk black male frustration about black women increasingly getting with white men. The person accused of the murking is a white man. And information man's conclusion is black women don't divest. I'm going to tell you what the logic problem with that is. The logic problem with that is very simple. If we're going to save one man representing about 75 million grown men and his allegedly murking a black woman means that black women should not date white men, Here's the problem. Uh, who is killing black women four and a half times a day, every day, in domestic incidents? So if you take that logic four times for 13 million men, then the solution would be don't date black men at all. Black women don't play black, black men. And then when you look at what's going on in America and the violence of American men historically at present, the solution might also be don't date American men. And if you go ahead and back that up a little more and look at domestic violence around the world, stay single would be the logic. Now, it just so happens that 1 Corinthians 7, at least for the Christian woman, said, yeah, that's going to be better for you. That's been in print for almost 2,000 years. And then Stephanie Perry has been saying for a minute, don't date American men. She's been saying that for about five to seven years. Um, and then there are other communities who are saying, you know, you got a choice of partners right now. Now, that's not my area to get off into as a Christian. But I'm just saying there's data that suggests those things. And to be fair to Information Man, the history of white men mistreating black women is long and deep. 60% of all slave owners were white men. 40% were white women. That's a different story for a different day. Point is, long and deep what you need to do is learn how to vet. Information Man pointed out some things that this sister might have done better to protect herself. You don't go to people's houses on the first date, you don't let them come to yours. In fact, you need to keep a man at least a mile or two from your house and not let him follow you home. He does not need to know where you live. He does not need to know where you work on a first date. No, that's just not, ah, uh, that ain't it. Don't need to do all that. People don't need to have that kind of access to you. Act like your life is valuable because it is. Tony Gaskin says you need to uh, talk to a man 10 times before you go on that first date. And I'm going to add to you, a lot of you talking about I'm not going to do a coffee or ice cream date. No, no, no. You see this broad daylight I'm in right now? The first time you interact with a man, you need to what? Be in broad daylight far from your home, somewhere where you have access to public transportation. Because again, don't let him find follow you to your car either. And why do you need to do this? Because of the moment of American history that we're in. Like it was in Germany in 1919, American men feel the empire slipping away from them. They know that they're being called the ugly and stupid American. It has been going on for some time, but now we really look dumb. We can't find a man under 75 to lead a whole nation, the most powerful in the world. One of those men is struggling with a speech impediment that is a struggle that's increasing as he gets older. And the other one is on trial for criminal fraud and has already lost millions of dollars in civil fraud and can't even get a bond company that does not bounce his bond. Allegedly. We do not have the respect of the world at this moment. I'm just telling y'all what I'm telling y'all. Okay? Our ability to be respected in the world is also going down because why? We're on a month-to-month -month paying the country's bills. Everybody's fed up with the stupidity. We out here on social media and on our main news making fools of ourselves as a nation every single day. 
we don't have it like we used to. We don't have the domination of the world, which is why both our allies and our enemies are basically doing whatever they want to do and daring us to do anything about it. So American, I should say, citizens of the United States understand that their power, their access to imperial dreams is slipping. These men also understand that unless they are men in, the power, in power in the economy, they're getting shut out of the economy. Whatever they thought their American dream was going to be, they're not going to get it. Because they do not have the patience to sit down and learn the skills that they need to. I can tell you about Season the Crypto Bull Run. The number of women versus the number of men that have purchased it and the number of women versus the number of men that have applied it. That's the difference between having a dollar in your pocket in November and having three dollars in your pocket even with crypto down. It was three and a half two weeks ago. Women got that and primarily got that and men didn't. And that's happening all over the economy. Not because the economy discriminates against men. Because men are hoping someone else will just let them be entitled to all this. That's not how it works in a knowledge-based economy. That ain't it. That's not what we're doing out here in 2024. And with artificial intelligence coming, it's only going to get worse. So if a man can't compete with other men, and he can't have hopes of uh, vicariously dominating through having an imperial nation... And I know the United States is a democracy. No, it's a constitutional republic. And if you go back into the 19th century and you read honestly, you'll find out people were already talking about we have as much territory as a solid European empire. Already. The men who, who did manifest destiny do exactly what they were doing. They were building an American empire. And that is being lost the ability to even live vicariously is being lost to average American men. So what are they going to do? The plan is to get over the top of some woman. And if necessary, destroy her to meet their goals. And destroy her if she resists. And that's what you don't need into your life. You have a pretty high chance of taking someone into your life who is a destroyer, or at least uh, slow or fast, into your life if you do not vet. So these are the things you need to do. I mentioned you don't let people have big access to your life and your details. Don't let people come where you work. And if, and if you're single, your friends, there are some no good women out here too. So you need to really think about who are you allowing in to close to you in this season. You do not allow people this kind of personal access. Now, if you want to study this a little more, the first thing I'm going to ask you to do, it'll be in the description, is look at Vetting 101 with myself and Confidence with Love. Auntie D and Auntie Love broke this topic down. And I want you to prepare to invest in yourself in getting the self-confidence course for black women by Auntie Love, which is a prerequisite to, guess what, Vetting 101. This woman will show you how serious organizations investigate and vet people before letting them in to their lives and also these are the things that auntie love used in order to be able to vet her white husband who she calls mr white privilege so you can get a white man or a black man or an asian man latino man or you can spread this out because i know some of you are exploring larger options than that i don't give advice on that as a christian but i know that that's what's going on Whoever it is, and if you're single and you are including people in your lives as friends, as business partners, you must vet. I know I have some videos about this as well, further back. Our hearts go out to Sade Robinson's family. That's done with. But what we need to do now is find solutions. The solution is not black women don't divest. Nope, that ain't it. The solution is... Learn how to examine who you bring into your life and do not compromise. And if a man or a woman or a child or a beast, well, a child's not going to have as much trouble with it. But whoever it is, when they give you that first red flag, run. Whoever it is, if they do not want to submit to having to earn a place into your life by providing you the information you need to know that you are safe, drop and block. And this is why you don't let them close to you. You don't give them access to where you live. You don't give them access to your work. You don't give them access to people close to you. So that when you get ready to shut them out of your life, you can shut them out completely. This is why you make sure you do your getting your information about people sufficiently far from what is important to you. We don't need another sister killed. It's happening four and a half, five times a day inside the community. And if you don't vet, it'll happen outside too. Because we are at a destroying moment where men feel their vicarious 
attempt to play God is failing in every direction except getting a woman and a child they can destroy. That's why you have all these mass shootings. I need you to survive. I need you to be careful out there. I need you to vet. I need you to not listen to people that think that, oh, well, if you don't divest, the black man will take care of you. Huh? Really? No. The solution is you need to take into your hands what you need to do to be careful who you allow into your life. Links on uh, our vet Vetting 101 um, presentation will be in the description. And um, I'll probably see if I can put together my old videos on this so you have something right away. And Auntie Love's course is coming. All right. Y'all have a good day now. Stay safe. Be careful out there. Bye.